Okay guys, so as you can see, my coil over is in and Dane hasn't done his yet, so <laughs> I obviously win the race. <laughs> Yo my dudes, welcome back to another video um, So what we do have planned for today is to go visit my friend Dane um, So Dane has a few parts actually stocked up for his Accord However he was just busy with another Accord So he just notified me that he's actually finished with uh, um, the previous Accord And we're going to start working on his Accord um, he did mention that we are going to fit some coilovers um, today I'm not quite sure what coilovers it is uh, When I do get to him, I'll just inform you guys what coilovers it is and We are going to fit the coilovers I'm um, not quite sure if we're going to slam it yet But we are going to fit the coilovers And I'll just give you a review on the coilovers itself And the drive that it gives as well so that is basically what we do have planned for today um, Going forward, there is, like I mentioned, Dane does have other parts for the Accord So it's going to be a small little uh, build series of his silver Accord as well And then yeah, we're just going to catch up as well And I'll just tag you guys along Hey guys, so this is uh, Dane's Accord um, it is currently on uh, snowbuck or cut springs um, So yeah, this is the ride out. We do plan on going the same ride out. However, we're obviously going to use the ARC coilovers um, I'll just show you guys what the coilovers look like in a second So this is the packaging that it comes out Okay, so we'll just do a quick unboxing. I think the dogs uh, kind of already tried to unbox it. <laughs> so you got the right. Okay guys, so this is uh, the box that it actually comes in. Okay, so these are the coilovers itself. Uh, what is this little box here? Okay, so it comes in this little box with a spanner that obviously adjusts um, the coil over itself. I'll just open up that quickly. It's actually very cool, no? It's a nice product. Okay guys, so we are going to start with the rear of the car. Seeing that the rear does have a multi-link rear suspension. So that is going to be a little bit difficult or a little bit more difficult than the front So that is why we're going to start with the rear first Okay guys, so just a little bit of a difference between the EKs and the cords. If you are looking for where um, the shock actually comes loose, he's right on top of here, so it's not really in the boot. You basically just have to remove um, the seats on the side in order for you to get out on this side. I'm just leaving this one over here on so that the shock doesn't fall right through, but the other one is already loose and they indeed loosen that side as well. So. After that, the shock will basically come out. Okay guys, so this is just a side-by-side -side comparison uh, with the ARC um, rear coilover and the standard OEM um, Accord rear shock 
um, we are going to try to mimic whatever is happening with the standard one because then he's waiting for some 18s first before we actually start lowering uh, the car so we're just basically going to install the coil over so now and try to mimic the previous height okay guys so just another thing i need to inform you guys is that um with the arc um coilovers uh this over here you can see it's a little bit bigger um than the standard one so what you guys just need to do is maybe just trim off on both sides so that it basically um is the same like the oem and then it will fit um directly in so we're just going to use a stone grinder just to grind off a little bit on both sides um, and then it will basically fit just like that okay guys so this is what they kind of need to look like as you guys can see they are almost um, correct we're just going to um, grind them off a little bit and then they will be ready for fitment Okay, my two. So, just some information that you guys also need to know when um, fitting um, a cord coilovers. Um, what you guys need to do is, um, you guys need to use the top hat of your standard um, shock absorber uh, and put it onto um, the coilover. In order for you to do that, the, um, the coilover they give you um, what I'm going to call it a washer. So, as you guys can see, this washer is a little bit bigger um, than the standard one so the reason for that is, is so that the top hat can basically fit over um, the coil over strut so as you guys can see this is a little bit thicker than this one over here so the whole idea is for this to actually fit over like it is over here and as you guys can see the bolts are also different as well so this is the OEM one and this is um, the coil over one so once you're done, it will basically have to look like this, um, where the coil over washer is in the center of your OEM um, top hat, so that the top hat can basically fit onto the coil over. So that's just some information that um, I just learned now as I went on. Um, just so I'll share it with you guys as well. So if you are doing um, this conversion, um, it might just help you as well. Hey guys, let me just take a second out to show you guys uh, Dane's DIY fluorescent light for polishing. It's pretty cool. I might just make one for myself as well. Okay guys, so as you can see, my coilover is in and Dane hasn't done his yet, so <laughs> I obviously win the race. <laughs> my dude so this is just a quick comparison of what the OEM uh, shock exhaust look like compared to the ARC coilovers um, we are just going to change the high height of the coilovers and then we're just going to do exactly the same like we did early on with the top hats of the rear we're going to do with the front um, the front coilovers or the front shock exhaust were relatively easy to remove it's very similar to an EK or EG so it's not that difficult as the rear um, so I assume it will be easy to fit as well
my dudes this is the ride right of the accord this is the driver side and then this is the passenger side bear in mind that Dane actually wants to keep the ride right at the same he mainly went for the coil overs because of um, he had cut springs in and wasn't driving as good as he liked um, like I also did mention in the future he does plan on getting other rims and then we are going to lower the car what I'm also going to do is just go for a test drive and I'll just give my feedback um, we also plan on going for wheel alignment so if I am available I'll just tag you guys along as well Oh, true test! <laughs> no, that was, that was great! <laughs> true that test! That was great! It worked excellent! 8.5 out of 10! <laughs> 8.5 out of 10! That's in BC! <laughs> BC vibes! <laughs> Okay guys, so Dane says he's very happy with the uh, ARC coilovers. Um, I would say it's a great coilover as well. So for like the, a, for the price. For the price, yeah, it's a very good uh, coilover. Like I said, I might tag along tomorrow to do the wheel alignment and I'll give you guys another review. And Dane just might lower the car a little bit um, yeah, the tomorrow morning and then I'll just show you guys that as well. Peace out.